What's up guys, this is Chris Collins, and this is episode two of Get Struck Tuesdays. Let's get it. Get Struck Tuesdays, episode two, let's go. Starting out with this pen and ink piece, and I've told you guys before, this is pretty much my base for a lot of my art that I create. And this one's called Symbols of Truth. And uh, what I really would like for you guys to do with this piece is just, instead of applying it to my life, apply it to yours. And let me know how that works out. In this pen and ink piece, I'm coming with various symbols of truth. There's a lot to say about the truth. And what they say is true. It will set you free. One thing I did here that I want to do more of is draw a background or setting. I believe this is something my art usually lacks, but when I do it, it helps progress whatever story exists in my work. For those who care to understand me a bit more, I'd say to pay attention to the subtle details, take notes, ask questions, and don't ignore any symbols I've included. Words are very powerful, but art is the equivalent. And when art is present, Words aren't necessarily needed. all said and done and I leave this shell I love to be remembered as a pen and ink artist and that's definitely one of my goals for sure so hopefully I'm getting there and uh, each piece that I do I get better at it always have and it's something I feel like I'll continue to do probably for the rest of my life fly away with me this is another solid pen and ink drawing, and the overall composition is balanced. I also did that thing where I take the hidden letters from the featured words and throw them in a word generator, TRET, an allowance of weight made to purchasers of certain goods to compensate for waste during transportation. If you're thinking, oh great, another watercolor floral, I'm not sorry. This is one of the things I do, but if you enjoy these, then you should appreciate the effort I put into all of my art. This watercolor floral piece is something I created for my girlfriend, and I did it for Valentine's Day. It was one of the gifts I gave her. And you know, I'm not a cheap guy. I, at least I don't think I am. I definitely did, you know, get her some gifts also. But I like to create stuff, you know, from my heart. And I feel like it means more at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, she's my muse. And, you know, th this is how I show my love through my art. So when I give gifts like this, it's from the heart. And it's not just because I'm being cheap or whatever, but it's something that I feel like she can keep forever. These watercolor florals aren't only watercolor. They almost always have some pen details. And if you're paying attention, you'll see me add acrylic gold paint to give it a little bit of luster. I guess it's more of a mixed media work, but overall it's another watercolor painting. I can't imagine I'll ever quit doing this type of art. The beauty of painted flowers brings balance to all of my catalog. I draw some toxic sh 
But painting beautiful things is part of my arsenal that appeals to a totally different audience. I've never been a one trick pony in anything. And I pride myself on being a Libra and bringing balance to my world and everything in it. I painted this with love and I hope it lets her know I see her as my muse and her beauty inspires me to paint beauty. This is just me creating art inspired by this life with you. Yeah, little mama and I had a great time for Valentine's this year. And yeah, we hit a speed bump the week before, but thankfully everything got better and we came together. And honestly, I feel like we're stronger than we ever have been. This pen and ink drawing was supposed to be another gift for her for Valentine's, but I honestly forgot to give it to her. It's a caricature style drawing, but I dig it. Simply titled, Haley and I. <laughs> And uh, I'm not even gonna front, you know, we had a little hiccup there, you know, but I gotta say, it definitely brought us closer together. And I feel like, you know, there's things about all of us that we need to change. And acknowledging that and acknowledging the issues that you have in relationships and concentrating on changing them or fixing them, that's, that's what you do, you know, if you love somebody you change things about yourself that you know you need to change. And it's all a process, but one thing's for sure. I love this woman and I want this life with her, this life. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. And I'm constantly trying to be my best version, not just for my kids and myself, but for her too. So, yeah, what can I say, man? Um, it's part of being a man is acknowledging things that we need to change about ourselves and making it happen. My girl and I started a streetwear brand called Oaksiders. And this is the art for the second screen printed t-shirt run called Sushi. As you can see, I started with penciled sketches of specific elements. I individually ink each element and take pictures of each sheet of paper, then get everything in the computer so I can convert it all to vector art in Adobe Illustrator. Once everything is in the computer, I assemble it all and get the overall composition just right. From there, I add the color Haley likes and get her to pick the color of the shirt. You're seeing the process of what it takes to make a t-shirt design. All right, so you see I'm starting out with all these pinning drawings and I'm converting them to vector art and I'm doing this for the streetwear brand that my girlfriend and I started it's called Oaksiders at this point we're two screen print t-shirts in and we've got a few hats available also so the um, the whole process behind this is taking a pen and ink piece or a bunch of small pen and ink pieces and converting them into vector art in the computer. So then when you uh, put everything together, it's kind of like a puzzle and you make it fit and uh, make it work and make everything, you know, gel, I guess I could call it. But uh, yeah, this t-shirt is called Sushi and uh, basically the inspiration behind this shirt and you'll see the date on the back of it uh, it's all about her and I becoming official and, you know, just starting this life together. So, yeah, Oaksiders, if you didn't know already, a lot of people might be confused, but it's really all about art, fashion, family, and, you know, creating a legacy for yourself. I think that's something everybody strives for, whether they admit it or not. Hey, 
Happy birthday to you. All right, blow it. Make a wish and blow it out. This piece is called Make Your Wish. And uh, it's got the 1111 in the top corner. Man, lately I've been seeing a lot of 1111, a lot of the angel numbers they say. And look, 1010, I just, just popped up on my phone. Um, but yeah, man, I always make a wish whenever I see those angel numbers because it's like the universe is speaking to me. I've always felt that way. Definitely, man. I've seen a lot of those lately, like clockwork, around the clock. So always make a wish, and my wishes are always attainable and achievable. And it's not even about money, man. And I'm not even gonna tell you what I wish, because then it won't come true. I just make wishes. And I just try to put out positive affirmations, because I know what I want in this life. Thanks again, guys, for joining me for episode two of Get Struck Tuesdays. I appreciate you for supporting me in any way you do. Make sure you check out the Oaksiders streetwear brand. Uh, we're doing our thing, man. We're gonna keep on doing it. We're not doing this so it can be cool to everybody. We're doing this for us and we're doing it for our peoples, for real. So make sure you check that out and um, you know, do all the stuff you do on YouTube. I will be dropping videos monthly, like I said last episode. And if you didn't watch that one, go check that one out. So yeah, thanks guys. And uh, appreciate everybody out there for everything you do. Uh, or if you don't do anything at all, if you're just doing stuff for your family or for yourself, keep doing your thing. Peace.